All right, I wanted to do a quick rambling video on the importance of weather stripping. So you can see here along the perimeter of my cabinet, I have this uh, rubber seal. And um, this stuff is really great. Um, when you seal your detail for your cabinet or whatever you have, you can see mine, it's pretty tight fit. I have to kind of give it a little bit of oomph to get it closed. But this stuff will help keep dust out of your cabinet. You turn off the room lights. And it's important to keep dust out of your cabinets because no one likes to dust the inside of their cabinets or their figures. Now, you can see there at the bottom and a little bit at the tops, it's not perfect, um, but it certainly keeps out a lot more dust than if it wasn't sealed. And it certainly keeps out a lot more dust if uh, this was just an open air cabinet. Now, this stuff is pretty cheap. For a detolf, it's about $5. Comes in a foam uh, style or a rubber style. I picked up the rubber style because my Walmart had ran out of the foam. And to be honest, I actually like it a little bit more. The foam, when you applied it, it was easy to uh, stretch it too much and it made it really thin and this stuff while it does have some give you really apply it um, The length that you take from the roll is the length that you apply it as For example with the foam I could probably take a length half this long and stretch it all the way to the end of the cabinet and While that is great you'll find that it's a lot thinner when you look at it than strips that you just apply it at the length that you cut from the roll. Um, usually what I'll do at the corners, because they are a little weak at the corners, I'll put a little drop of super glue, a tiny drop, like a pinpoint drop, just to keep the corners nice and tight. You can see here in the door, um, I kind of went a little off kilter here, but the door has a layer on each side, and then on the bottom, there's more of it, and uh, yeah, this is really good stuff. So I haven't dusted my cabinet in about two or three months, and you can see um, Han's a little dusty, that fabric in his pants gets a lot of dust, but generally speaking, like the actual cabinet surface itself, or the bases, they're fairly dust-free. I'm, I'm not gonna say that this is like a, 100% dust proof method for displaying your cabinet, but This definitely helps keep most of the dust off your figures and you know when I had a detolf without this stuff I was dusting You know to get this amount of dust like Han has I was probably dusting once a month once every other month and it's been uh, a Really long time since I've ever dusted in this cabinet as a matter of fact most of the stuff that you see might not even be dust. It's probably just um, dust from when I drilled out holes for different wiring setups that I used to have. Um, those particles would would uh, catch on the figures. So that's my quick tip for today. I'll put a video or a link to uh, this stuff where you can get it at Walmart. It's really good stuff. Like I said, it comes in this rubber and it also comes in the foam. Uh, I really like the rubber though. For a detolf, it's pretty easy. You basically just start at the bottom and then four strips and you're done. With the detolf, I never personally found any benefit to doing it on the glass door since the door is so tight uh, with just that one strip. But with this cabinet uh, being a different company with different tolerances, when I closed the doors, the gap was like pretty significant. So if you guys have any questions about this uh, process, let me know. You can see Vader here. Haven't really dusted him in a long time and he looks pretty damn good. So I highly recommend doing it. It doesn't take that long and it just keeps things looking nice and clean so that you can enjoy your collection instead of spending hours and hours and hours dusting. So let's pan out here. I'll show you guys what my collection looks like right now. I'm going to do a collection showcase video soon, so uh, stay tuned for that. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you learned something today. 
and uh, soon we'll talk about some, uh, I'll do a formal video for uh, doing something like this. Alexa, turn on the accessory lights. So, that will probably be the next video, showing you guys how to operate your uh, bases and CCFL sabers with the Alexa device. Alexa, turn off the cabinet. So, it's pretty cool. I got my, my lights and my other stuff hooked into that. So, you can see those little timers back there, what makes, that, makes it all possible. So, stay tuned for that. Hopefully, you guys were able to learn something. And hopefully, you guys are, are excited for the next video in my rambling series.